Thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the look I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And it's just this really fun kind of pink look with a little bit of brown here in the outer corner and some white on the inner corner. Um, I think it would be really nice for, you know, going out or even for the daytime for those of you like me who wear these dramatic looks during the day. But I really, really like this look. It has, you know, some wing liner. Um, let me kind of zoom in here so you can see it just a little bit better. Yeah. So if you want to see how to do this look, then uh, keep on watching. Alright, to start out the look, um, I primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion in original. It looks like this. And I put it on the top from the lash line up to the brow bone, inner corner, and underneath as well. Because we're going to be adding some shadow down there and we want it to last all day. So, sorry. <laughs> Next, I um, for my base, I use the uh, new MAC Paint Pot called Nubile, and it's just this kind of um, peachy kind of nude color, and I just use that right on the lid so that it makes um, our eyeshadows pop. I really like using a base, whether you use the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, just even an eyeliner would work, so white eyeliner, if that's all you have, because it really does help make that um, shadows pop. Alright, so make sure you blend that out really, really well. Next, I'm going to go in with Taco from Sugar Pill. Oh, my palette's a little bit dirty, but it looks like this, and it is my favorite white. It is the most like opaque white that I've ever found. I really, really like this white. So I'm going to take this on my 239 brush from MAC, this is flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in on the inner corner, about one third of the way in, and I like to take it in here too, right here in this inner tear duct area, and a little farther in than I usually would. I think it really makes my eyes pop with this look. So go ahead and make that like as white as you want. I like to really, really make it white. And I'm going to take it up here as well. Just to kind of highlight this area all the way up to the brow bone. Alright. So when you have that as white as you want it and you blend it out really, really well. We're going to go in with a MAC shadow called Sushi Flower. And it's just this kind of like... I guess it's kind of like a corally kind of pinky color and I, I really do like this color as well. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's this one right here. And it's kind of got like a shimmer to it as well. And I'm going to take that on another flat shader brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to put that in the middle and blend it in with that white. and leave room here in the outer corner because we're going to add an, a pigment over there. We'll go back in later and blend that a little better with that white. So next I'm going to go in with Max Pigment in um, what's it called? Chocolate Brown <laughs> and it looks like this. I love this pigment. And I'm going to use this pigment wet. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. You can use a mixing medium, visine, anything you want. And I'm just going to take that. And when I'm working with pigments, I like to like smash it into the cap so that it uh, helps me more from fallout. And I'm going to take that here in the outer corner. And just take that and blend it in like so. I think I got a little bit too much on my brush, so I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'm going to go back in with that pink color and just kind of blend that in back and forth. And I'll be right back. I have that blended. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, and this is the um, Sigma E25. It's just this little mini one. And I'm going to take and blend this out here. 
smooth. I'm just going to blend it in there a little bit. All right, and I'm going to take a little bit more of that pigment, just a tiny, tiny bit right on the very, very tip of this. And go ahead and tap it off. We're just going to take that and blend it right here into the crease. And I'm only going to take it right here to where I stopped with that white. And blend it in really, really well. We don't want too much. See it like that. And go back in with some concealer later. I'm just kind of uh, fixing any fallout or anything that's down there. So now I'm going to wipe my brush off, make sure it's nice and clean. So we don't want to add any more product and just blend out this kind of harsh line here. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my highlighting shade now. And um, I'm going to use Brulee by MAC. And uh, this brush, I love to use this for my highlighting. And Brulee is here. It's just this kind of like creamy color with, um, it looks a little bit shimmery, but not too not too much. I think it's more on the matte kind of frosty side. So I'm going to take that and just bring it up here and kind of use that color to blend out that line with that brown and mix it in here with the white that we have. We don't want any harsh lines. I think that's what makes this look is it's really nice and blended. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, that blending brush again. I'm just kind of go back over that line. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to go in with the liner, and I'm going to use the 24 7 um, liquid liner from Urban Decay that came with the um, Book of Shadows. I'm going to take it, it looks like this, and just run it super close to the lash line. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to add just a little flick. Alright, now that we have that, um, grab your favorite mascara and apply that. And I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. What I used is the Rimmel Sexy Curves and it looks like this. And here, it is my absolute favorite. I just love the way it lengthens my lashes and makes them look like super full. I just love it. So, next I'm going to add some Black Track Fluid Line to my bottom waterline. Um, and I like to apply it with a um, pencil like this. Just get any kind of pencil eyeliner and just dip it in there. Don't get too much. And then just take it and apply it to that bottom waterline. And I like using the gel on the waterline because it just seems to last so much longer for me that way. Alright, and oops, we forgot one step. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more of that um, brown pigment from MAC and add just a tiny bit to the bottom lash line. I'm just going to take this blending brush. There we go. Just a little bit, and I'm going to take about three-fourths of the way in. Alright. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my cheeks, I'm wearing Mac, um, NARS's Blush and Orgasm and contoured with um, the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I'll be right back with um, what we're going to put on our lips. Lips I'm going to use um, MAC Lip Erasing Dim. And it looks like that. And it's just this kind of nudie concealer color that kind of blinks out your lips. So that you kind of have like um, just a blank canvas to start out with. Me personally, my lips are like extremely pigmented. So it makes it a lot easier to add color. 
um, put on um, Max lipstick and Angel, and just this kind of like pinky nude color. And I'm not going to add too much, just a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Because we, um, we have quite a dramatic look on our eyes, so I don't want to overdo it with these dramatic eyes and this crazy lipstick, but you know, sometimes that's cool. But uh, next, I'm going to add the MAC Lip Gloss in Illicit. And this is one of the lip glosses that came out with the um, Neck Me Over collection. There we go. Perfect. And this again is just this kind of like nude color. Let's put that on the uh, center of the lips and kind of blend it out. Just like so. And, and oops, I forgot to, my highlighting shade. I'm going to use the Porcelain Pink um, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I just got this and I absolutely love it. It is so awesome. Um, it just got released with the um, MAC Color Collection. I love it so much. And just apply that to the cheekbones, kind of run it here through the um, brow bone, a little bit up here. I also like to bring it down the nose and on the cupid's bow. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.